Actually, in that case, let's get um. Ah. So here we go. Angol War will happen sooner or later, probably sooner. Yeah, I uh, I'm happy to help you against Bengal because they have rivaled me, and I'm sure there'll be causing you problems at some point. If it's, it's all but there. guaranteed that they're going to mess around with us. Oh, I just discovered I had a exiled army, but uh, it wasn't advertised as being exiled. I can reach Alaska. Congratulations on the nice. founding of uh, Icyochi or whatever you're going to call your Japanese colony over there. Oh my god, I need to... What, what's, what's literally any Japanese name for America? Uh, what, uh, I... Well, okay, I know the Chinese name for America is Meiguo, but I don't know what the Japanese I need to Google it. Like, I'll just figure it out and pause when we get the when I get the pub. Beikoku. And it seems... Beikoku. B-E-I-K-O-K-U. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, oh, and... Okay, of, it means the country of grains. At the moment. Country of brains? Of grains. Like, it literally oh, okay. translates as rice country. <laughs> <That's but> rice. <laughs> okay. But think of rice in a very broader sense. Yeah. You Wait, can also look I at... Just... Okay. Uh... Hey, Yapak. What's up? Oh, yeah, we're the line. alliances. Uh, just a moment. Uh, I'll send you an alliance offer. And what's up, Tang? I was going to say that uh, if you wanted to go to Nivk or get your army over to Nivk, I am uh, going to be taking the mandate from Korea, which means I will be kicking the pants off of their army. Really, really cool. A to, uh... I will definitely help you with that. Um... Well, I don't watch. I don't want you to help me with that. I want you to declare your own war, so that way you can take land from Korea. Yes. Will they? Um. I'll just say. Will they get? Ah. And I'm. I'm not oh. taking any land from Korea at all. From no, it's more like. Well, when, so when I am, if I stand in you when I declare war, will will they get the black flag from military access? Uh I want to say yes. Yeah. Even if we're both at war with them, I want to say yes. Caution. I can get through, if I go through NIF and stuff, it should be good. Um, yeah, what happens? It, 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 it uh, they some just time allied to with probes. Ayutaya, which is fortunately hilariously deal-withable. Uh, Daft, I sent you an uh, alliance offer. I didn't see if you accepted it yet. I, I you did. did. You did. Good. Yeah, uh, Ayutaya is... Not your royal marriage stuff. They've got 2k troops, uh, so that shouldn't be... To your brand. Marry me, ah. All right. Uh, are you feeling ready to start raising your armies now? Uh, sure. I see you're eager uh, to uh, eager to go. Well, I don't want the diplomatic situation to change up again because I haven't been able to act because they've had useful allies. Plus, they're currently undergoing a rebellion um, that has totally right. trashed their army twice. So we're going to have to fight oh. 10,000 fewer troops. So Bengal's numbers, they have 35,000 troops. Uh, oh, oh god, that's a lot. Um, so where do you want my army exactly? I'm going to have to uh, detach some off, Start troops. off just dealing with the south and Ayutthaya and eventually come up and help against Bengal. That's what I'm hoping for. Okay. Alright, so I'll be moving my, my troops to uh, Nifk now. It'll take a while for them to arrive, but yeah. You can declare de declare your own militia. Uh, yeah, I'm hey. just uh, increasing the size of my army. Um. Yes. So chaos. I think my I tell you, I'm trying to avoid border friction with Malacca for the time being. Well, okay, you don't have to take any uh, land from them. Mm -hmm. If could you I... want, you could vassalize them this war. Would that uh, does a vassal count towards border friction or? Ooh, that's a question for Hobo. Uh, nope. Cool, 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 cool. Who are you trying to vassalize? Are you tired? Oh, it's the remains well, of Ayutthaya. Well, Ayutthaya just yeah. allied with Chrome, who I'm about to go to war with. Uh, well, so, this war will put us to war with Bengal, Ayutthaya, and Sipa. Malacca still wants their land, so I think they'll still, you know, just want the land of your vassal instead of wanting the land of you. 
Which will still cause a relations hit, but... But not one that's yeah. irrecoverable by any means. Alright, uh, I'm good to declare war. Okay, yeah, um... I... yeah. Alright, um, here we go. All set. Declare war. It is a conquest that I am declaring on Prome proper. Any idea if they've got much of a navy over there? Uh, um, let's see. Uh, Bengal's navy is 37 ships. Oh, okay, that might be an issue if they venture over my way. I guess we'll see. Uh, yeah, I can see they're moving like a fleet of about uh, all of it over your All right, uh, well... Just, okay, I'm gonna, if, I'm... if you want to, just keep your keep your fleet. Um, yeah, I'll keep them keep them important for the system. For the okay, yeah. In that case, I'm uh, good to go. I've got troops uh, coming home from Indonesia. Excellent. I just got a few calls. Call to arms. Uh, accept. Hey, my heir died. I got a better one. A strong claim, better skills. Um, is is Pegu on our side in this war? Pegu's my vassal. Oh, oh, okay, yep. Yeah. That explains so, uh, that. Uh, yes, categorically, yes. Russia so spooky. I think. All right, Korea, you played hot potato with the mandate long enough. It's time to give it back to China. I'll declare in a moment. Uh, I need to gather my troops and Nick. It's uh, two more trips. I mean, to be fair, I was just telling you so you know you could come in. And... Yeah, so Russia has to poop in after I siege them. I'll have my uh, superior army with uh, apparently none of my generals having a siege pip or whatever. We don't believe in siege pips over here. What the hell's a pip anyways? Oi, pip pip and whatnot. Don't you make fun of, uh, of Daft like that? Say what? Oh. Well, Bengal sent an army <laughs> over from Delhi, so I just noticed that they had started to siege down stuff in my far west, and I'm like, oh, I wondered where the heck Bengal's army was. Ah. Uh. That's fine. Alright, I only need five artillery in this stack. So I, can I keep seeing uh, I, I keep seeing a Scottish flag when I look at Mong Quang. Yeah, fair enough. You know, the uh, the Saltire. The Saltire of the East. Still alive? There you are. Oh, yeah. That's weird. Oh, Korea, you poor Your bastard. <laughs> well, they could yeah, just so like not have been on the wrong. They could just like not have been on the wrong side of history. Like, I'm. Typical. Oh, I'm almost able to to knock Sipa out of the war. I bet if they wait just a little bit longer, I'll be able to just say, "Give me your stuff, Sipa." It's 147 positive and 149 negative, so if we just get another siege or two. Well, Afghanistan okay. refuses to send me tribute again. Friggin' Afghans. I, 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 respect their, I respect their hustle. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, just uh, okay. if you hold onto Thandut, um, yeah, I'll hold then down. they can't push in through there. And that gives us total freedom to siege down in the south. Oh, they're running away. Excellent. Oh, and uh, there's a great big battle happening in Brutal. And I just... Nice, and we just siege down the land, we? Hmm, should I cross a river, I wonder? 
Uh, do you want to siege over into Manipur? Oh, uh, I noticed that uh, Proem is sending an army in from the north there, from Sadia. Oh, it um, appears. Um, so I could we pause for a moment? I've got. Yeah, of course. Event spam. I uh, just yeah, got a new nice reader spam. and pause the event spam. Pause it being in the middle of a war. Uh, it appears that Oirat had its uh, two vassals rebel against them. I'll be starting moving through Korea now. Uh, okay, good to unpause. So you guys, good to go. Yep. Oh, there we go. Administrative Tech 11. Yes, yes, I didn't even have Tech 11 yet. The textile manufactories, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Now I just need the money to build them. Ha <laughs> ha Alright, I'm gonna see if I can piece out Seapaw now. Seapaw will accept complete annexation. And I'll see how much money we can get out of it. Hmm. Holy heck, that's 31k troops there, I see. Okay. For me, that's a big army. I'm now moving into Bengal. Oh, and I see that Bengal's army has finally started to come over this way, so I'm gonna move my guys over from Western Tibet and see how Oh my running... great! What's up? It's taking my great power spot. Well, that's kind of funny. Honestly, it's oh. good. Can can we please keep that. it because then then I could, if you guys can influence me. Can <laughs> uh, Got done. Sadly, influencing you costs like <laughs> over six hundred ducats. General yeah, relativity. Yeah, very expensive. I know. I know. If you like it, then you, uh oh. Uh, hang on. Um. So, would you like me to make Ayutai your vassal daft? Yes, please, if possible. Uh yeah. Uh, let me see if I can do that. Ayutai. Uh, Hashtag totally not vassal Cambodian state. Cambodian vassal. Uh, do you want me to force religion on them too? I know, um, no, they are your religion, so you don't want me to force yeah. their pot on them. Alright, cool. No. Uh, I can force them to be your vassal and also force them to give us a bunch of money. Nice. Alright, Ayutai is your vassal. Woohoo, thank you very much. You're most welcome. You no, know, it would be really, really nice if this fort. I'm sending in at as much uh, cannons I can into it. Oh, there we go. Completely unnecessary. Oh, by the way, I was going to ask where uh, where was he? his Sipor? His Sai Sai Oh, uh, it was in Mong Kong, which is right next to the actual prop um, territory of Sipa. Uh. Um. Search HSIP in the, uh, uh, hit, hit the shortcut F and type in HSI, and you'll see it was right next to there. They didn't actually oh, control okay. their original territory anymore. Oh, hey, uh, oh, okay. I found the great big Bengali army. You want to fight these guys? Um, oh, down on the south there, I sure. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, yeah, I can reach them. I'm just trying to make sure that I siege enough land to, uh, you know, actually have the war score to do what I need to. Just taking All a right. mandate still takes 50% war score. Alright, uh, once you're almost in position, I will lock in and then we will fight and smash Bengal. Nice, uh, is this gonna Let's be a go. river crossing for him? Uh, no. Oh, well, oh. actually, I think everything into it is a river crossing because they're in the delta. There's no route there that is the river crossing, so just uh. have to deal with it. Korea just got smashed. Do you have any? Where are they? I don't, I don't think they have an army left with all of the rebels they have. They have 30,000 troops somewhere. I guess it's like. Well done. Oh, there they are. There they are. I found them. <laughs> uh, Cheng, uh, Cheng Zhou. 
Oh, this might be a way for me. I'm trying my best to intervene. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to get over there in time. It's I have okay. to walk all the way around. I'm just trying to not get wiped here until you get back up. Don't get wiped. No wipe, I think. Oh, you're actually making it a time, I think. Yeah. And i actually winning without you somehow, maybe. Yeah. Well, I'll be there to save the day. Yeah. I can't pass promises to you, so I actually should be a little bit careful here what I'm taking. Uh, Daph, do you want to move it in and fight those guys moving into the bank? Yeah, but I'm not actually... I sure, I... I... Oh yeah, so, yeah, but it's where, where are we specifically fighting? because of the wall score. Right, here we, here we go. Should, should, I, should I move in? Are you moving yeah, in? Moving in. I, I can't see your troops. I'm moving, moving. trust me. They're trying to walk away, so... No one walks away from me. No one. Oh, that's beautiful. Nicely done, nicely done. Okay, uh, yeah, you can not move in those things, guys. We're good. Ooh. Excellent. I think we've smashed their whole army because no one survived that. Why? Deadly no longer considers me a rival. Those little wackies. Now they have no army. Alright, I've successfully sieged down Sagatana. And now I'm moving to fight them in Midnapur. You need any help? Oh, so you got no, it. No, no, we got him. We got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. How many times are you going to be able to make that joke today? Uh, that's the first time I've made that particular version of that joke today. <laughs> that particular version. Well, I did make another George Bush joke earlier today. He's kind of evergreen. <laughs> Ooh. Honestly, though, just the whole mission accomplished thing is, like, so hilariously hubristic, and it gets more ironic the longer that, like, Iraq is in a state of being horrible shit. Mm. It's like, success! <laughs> we have established a peace, freedom, and democracy. <laughs> I got it. Next campaign. Iraq, colonize America. There we go. Hey, I, I think that's solid. I think that's solid. I actually it... saw someone do that with Afghanistan. And they just migrated Afghanistan to America. <laughs> <laughs> How how even the deuce? Uh oh, bad news. Everyone, Bundelkhand is going to possibly help out with Bengal. All right, we've almost got everything occupied at this point. There's one little po uh, fort left that I'd like to grab. There we oh, go. How's the war score looking? Uh, the war score is eighty percent. Oh, there it is. Okay. I was asking. Yeah. Uh, how are you guys doing over there? Um, I'd appreciate pretty... pausing just for a moment so that we can start our piece once we've got 100%. And, uh, man, Bengal went down like a... like a wet squib. Went out like a wet yeah, squib. Uh... What's, the, what's the figure of speech for that? Uh, dumps? Dumps? Damp squib. Uh, which is they... a strange one because, I mean, a dry squid is not a very happy squid. Oh, uh, no, squib. Squib. How is this? I always thought it was dry squid, wow. No, it's a, it's a squib, well, uh, so it's like what, basically um, what? firing off wet ammunition. Like, oh, oh that oh, wasn't okay. actually very impressive at all. Wow, I, I thought we had uh, misunderstood that all these years. Interesting. Behold, well, you what even silly, is silly uh, Western Asians. The Tang is back in town. The Tang is back in town. Uh, 
Did you get the mandate? You got the mandate? Yeah. Hey, all. Emperor of China. You're not only Emperor of China, right? You're, um, like, celestial... Celestial... Something, something. Well, I don't Man, have... I have, the... I have earned some powerful bad boy points. My character kind of needs to die. Uh, so that I can get my karma back. Oh, wait, no, wait. <laughs> Yeah, I have Celestial Empire. Currently, player, Dalai right? Lama, uh, Toku, Jampa, and Gatso Kogro uh, needs to uh, just hurry up and uh, uh, become a Bodhisattva. Hmm. Uh, oh, oh no! Uh, Daft, you just abandoned the siege. Oh, I was... I wasn't paying attention, sorry. I just had a rebellion spawn. I oh, thought that oh, was fair. occupied. Or, oh, yeah, yeah. Um... I, I'm actually marching a guy over to deal with that rebellion right now, I think. Uh, actually, let me uh, move my canals. Yeah, sorry about that. For some reason, I just thought it was occupied already. No. And wait, does this this army have the cannons? So I, I want to detach your cannons, and uh, oh, I can't do that because it's moving. Don't worry about it. God damn it. Don't worry about it. You, uh, yeah, you got some oh, yeah, cannons. Yeah, it's a castle. You want me to send the cannons back? No, no, no. I've, I, I think I will have enough cannons. Uh, let's see. We need ten artillery to get the siege bonus, and I have left four, six. I have exactly ten artillery there. I'm going to send an army to us, uh, just in case the uh, so, uh, enemy army comes out of nowhere and we like visiting yeah, no, no, forces. Yeah, they're particularists. Hmm. I can confirm a Thalassocracy. That's very funny. Uh, what? Oh, well. <laughs> That's hilarious. What? I can confirm what? a Thalassocracy. The option just appeared. I can what? become um. <laughs> a Thalassocracy. You know. Makes uh, sense, doesn't what? it? What? Yeah. Tibet rules the waves. Rule Tibet, yeah. Tibet, he rules the waves. <laughs> what? Wow. What? You, you, like, you, you, like... You're just freaking Skeletor over here. What? <laughs> yeah, I don't think I... <laughs> What? What? <laughs> Rule. They were built in the wrong neighborhood. The llama rules the waves. Thank you for helping me out there, Cass. Thank you uh, for helping me out. It. No problem. Huh. Okay. So, my legitimacy is replaced by the meritocracy mechanic. Meritocracy. Oh, you're a republic now, eh? No, you're, you're, uh, you're heavenly republic. No, meritocracy represents the bureaucratic competence with inside our country. I see. We're still, I see. you know, an empire. All right. But apparently, it meritocracy goes down by two a year, and it's only increased by hiring All right. quality advisors. Okay, I would like to take a moment to pause, just so that nothing changes, so that we can figure out... What can I punch out of Bengal? Relation Nations. Jarkand is there. Kachar. Oh, Kachar could be a good release. Koch. Koch and Kachar. Manipur. These are Philippines. It's like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Ports. No, wait, that's not. Where's that even? Pesulu. Okay, like. Holy shit.
Also, I'm sorry, Tibet. Now I just have permanent claims against your land. That's okay. Just, you know... that's, that's totally cool. Okay, so I can force them to release a couple of small nations. How much is that? Does it tell me how much it's going to increase my... Uh... Let's see, if I don't release Koch, I kind of want to release these guys, though. But I'd also really like to get a coastline. Uh, okay, so I basically have a choice between releasing more guys. Okay, what happens if I don't release Naga? I like how my capital is still in Nanyang, where I started. Not Beijing, not, you know, Nanjing, but just deep in the center of China, surrounded by the farmlands. The crazy developed uh, tolerance, though. Clearly the superior capital. It's just many Pretty provinces. It's capital, crazy. Like, like he has. Things. Like I have, I have maybe two big cities, and Ho has five. But yeah, my meritocracy naturally goes down at negative two and goes up by point two five per skill rank of an advisor that I hire. So um, I need to be hiring pretty expensive advisors. <laughs> Oh, I just made a mistake. I uh, purchased the technology when uh, I hadn't bought the printing press, which is actually very affordable now. That a few more parameters have got it, right. so I probably could have I'm saved quite a bit. Of piece with Bengal now. now. Yeah. I'm taking five provinces from them and forcing them to release two things. Nice. I gave 18 karma from doing that. And now, uh, Coach Hosh and Kachara and Kachara. are things. Uh, okay, and now we're going to tick one day. Okay, and now we're going to make another piece with Prome. Hello, Prome. You're all on your own. Please uh, put in promo code, I have just been totally annexed. <laughs> oh, is this the, uh, the long-awaited coastline of Tibet? This is the long-awaited Tibetan. Coastline. Yes, it is. How could you make the lesser see before? I like, don't I actually know. don't understand. I think it's because what they the occupied fuck? coastal territories, maybe. But still, <laughs> like, I what? Like, it's com completely insane to me. Um. Cool. Uh, Angst, did you? Uh, oh, cool. Congratulations. Oh, I just realized I just that I gave um, me too much overextension. I should feed something to one of my vassals. If you started this war with Korea, Angst, do you feel free to uh, call me in if, if the Korean Navy is a problem. I'm actually um, I'm not right now. Because um, I see there's still um, Taiwan on yeah. the Korean occupation. Uh, if you want I, to be I called in, that's fine. I will earn a little bit of money for, from it. So, yeah. so you might get like a few ducats if you want. But it's not really... Uh, well, I'm just saying, like, yeah, I'm sure. happy to um, occupy it if that would help. I understand okay. that it's, it's Hobo has designed yeah. one Taiwan, but it's uh, it's a uh, it's completely fine here, honestly. Um, okay, well, just uh, feel free to call me in if 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 needed. Yeah, honestly, at this point, it's only if you have anything to gain from it. Um, Not that really. I can, uh, other, yeah. other than like naval experience, I guess, if that's uh, if that's a thing. It is like uh, near tradition is a thing, I guess. Uh, even then, it's um... hmm.
We're actually kicking England off the great power lists. So I currently have some nice. nasty overextension that I need to deal with. Since I uh, miscalculated it, I thought I was going to be at 97. I was at 117. Mm. So I'm going to have to take a moment to uh, to fight off some internal rebels for a bit. But I think that'll be okay. Would uh, anyone be upset if I take out Lana and uh, oh, one one Fuang? Go right We're both one province. Those are in your uh, yeah. Area. They're in the Siam trade node. They're both uh, one province miners allied with each other, remnants of former states, I guess. Yeah, yeah take them out because oh, you know what? I also need to uh, improve your relationship mm. of me because it's going to break mm. our alliance because you're upset with me uh, huh. having 125 AE. So oh, I'll make sure I'm also. To, uh, I'm improving relations as well. Well, don't, you, you don't have to worry about that. I have a positive opinion of you. You guys just have a understandably uh, negative opinion of uh, Tibet. Kind of just took a lot of stuff, didn't they? Oh, that Tibetan coastline. Oh. oh the great yeah, statesman yeah. Yoshimuni, the first Shiba of Japan, has died. <gasps> Our royal marriage of Japan has uh, ended. Oh, yes, yeah, I switched to a state oh. journal. Yoshimune. Oh. So uh, it's completely voluntary. Um, I'll just set up for our marriages again here. There we go. Alright, so... Oh. In April, I'm going to drop to 100% over extension. Because I started coring Senwi. Funny thing, I got so used to putting a certain thing, I was I said Xoring Senwi, and I'm like, hang on, hang on a second. Don't have to do that for everything. Hello, I am the <laughs> Dalai Lama of Tsai Bat. <laughs> General Tenzin Dalai Gampo. Rest in peace, Tenzin. Oh, oh. Almost at the big fuck you to Korea? Almost. Almost. We can dream, can we not? Uh, by the way, Kaz, I'm, uh, you may have noticed I have some troops in your western yes. provinces right now. I thought yes. I'd just leave them there. For uh, they're exiled right like... now. Yeah. But, um... But, which means they can't fight anything. Is that by uh, attempt? Oh, hang on. Maybe I have yeah. to give you military access? Well, no. I was just, just thinking, like, uh, in case someone attacks you or we get into another war with peeps just in India. Just let me offer military access to you. I think that will... Yay. Wait, it's, 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 no, I, I'm fine. Okay, good. <laughs> huh. Okay, you're got, okay um, right now your guys are exiled and taking attrition in Lodak. Um... So I think you'll need to walk them yeah. back so that they, uh... It, it's fine. Uh, uh, the, uh, supply limit here is deficient. Yes, yes. That I it's know. Hang out that I know. We're hanging out in, uh, Western Tibet. Uh, clips the rival. What can I get a rival? Only Khmer. So I will be rivalless for a while. Oh, I mean, we... No, I no, guess we could rival is, each other. I will be anymore. unrivaled in my field. <laughs> You can rival me, it's okay. I won't be upset. Uh, I want to be an ally with you, so... Oh, we can uh, also, continually, also... continually improve relations while also being rivals, right? No, I don't think we can ally rivals. I'm not twirling, quite sure. Twirling, oh, twirling, twirling, twirling. Oh, okay. Russia is getting closer. This is where I punch Russia, like, give me your lunch money! Yeah, yeah, do that, gonna be please. In Asia, you're gonna give me a tribute. You uh, think you can just walk around in my country, Asia? <laughs> Asia's my country. Oh man, it feels so good now that I'm back home in my country, Asia. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, uh... I really love the Asian culture. <laughs> <laughs> it occurs to me that these are definitely jokes that just aren't at all funny if someone doesn't know me. <laughs> it's like, man, that Chaos guy is pretty, uh... I'll say insular in his worldviews, jeez.
as an American, I feel like I should feel offended because many Americans probably would say exactly that. <laughs> well, okay, the thing I'm doing isn't is Isn't like, Asia a country? Sorry. Oh, yeah, what is it? Go, um, go ahead. I, I just remember the map of a survey of, pe of people being asked, asked where they think Afghanistan is on the world map. Uh... I have seen, uh, I think it was like a comedy show did that, they sent someone out on strange but streets to ask people, but I kind of got the feeling they cherry picked like, the most uh, ignorant answers. I mean, the problem is there was a TV bit. show in Canada called Talking to Americans, which was asking American people on the street, just giving little box pops, asking them about contemporary Canadian news stories. Hmm. But all of the news stories are, like, completely absurd. Like, Canada is looking to refrigerate its national igloo. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, do you know what is very funny? Assam just immediately ate both of the guys that I liberated. <laughs> Have a oh, look at, at right. Kachar and Koch. Yeah. Uh, where, Assam where, where is like, they? don't mind if I do. <laughs> like, oh, <Assam>. okay. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, he immediately went after both of them. Is like, oh, well, hello there. I'm like, well, you I, are I, now I, children I, under Tibet, and like all <laughs> siblings, I expect you to fight, fight for my amusement. <laughs> <laughs> fight. I was like, I got them. like 200 aggressive expansion from doing this, and the. Only one got that got it was Korea, so I'm just sitting. There yeah. we go. I, 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 goes. Sorry, sorry. I don't even know if it's a joke, but uh, here we go. I was just gonna say Bengal has unrivaled me. And, um... Yeah, it could oh, be right. it. So I think. <laughs> Yeah. Some point to the USA. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> These are proud moments in uh in the okay, inward was... <laughs> shall, shall we say the inward looking bits of America? This is kind of concentrated on Iraq, but I'm a bit worried about all the people um all the people who wanting... think this in Britain. <laughs> well some of them I was gonna say like the Mediterranean area, it looks like Italy is Considered quite Iranian and Greece. Yeah, also like always randomly guessing Australia a lot was like where's <laughs> China, the point of Australia. Um, well, and as I we all know, like, I, 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 I would like exist, to know so like really the, the, the way in which they did this because I feel like this is one of those things where they held a map and then accepted someone who couldn't quite point at a tiny thing on a map as he yeah. doesn't know where it is. I'm a little suspicious of that. Nah, it's fine. So Assam just completely ate both of the guys who I liberated from Bengal. Wow. Okay, Assam, I expect you to be paying higher, <laughs> higher tributes this year. Okay. Put the ass in the Assam. Uh. <laughs> yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> So now I'm using my glorious mandate to uh, have 10% cheaper core creation cost, which is nice. I really wish I had this earlier because it's also 10% cheaper development cost. Gee guys, well, we go back to the beginning and I just play regular MIG. I'm sure nothing will go wrong. Um, question guys, where do I see like my aggressive expansion again? And I think you said it was a map mode, but yes. I've never, I never uh, made a map mode. Uh, so I, I've set my aggressive expansion to show I just like click, like I go political diplomatic coalition. Oops, I didn't. Uh, um, yeah, I'm not seeing that for some reason. Uh, it's not an option when I go to political map modes. Um, so. Or is it, or is it diplomatic? Uh, it is, I think it is one of the diplomatic map modes, but it might be a political so map mode. 
there's one called Coalition, is that? Yeah, Coalition is relevant? the one. Coalition is the one. Wow. Uh, I could tell you what your coalition is right now. Um, it's entirely Ayutthaya, uh, Muanfang, Lan Na, Changsheng, and Mongpai. It's, it's every nation except me that borders you, plus Pagaryong mm. and Majapahit. I'm, uh, uh, I'm but not, it's not very not dangerously overly... high in, in any of their cases. And I'm not too good bothered about any of them apart from Majapahit might be a problem, but um, apparently I gained. I career year young as a uh, vassal somehow in the last session. Yes, uh, I am. I am a little curious about that. I'm so amused that all I did was empower <laughs> Assam. Well, Assam knows that they're fine until uh, they stop giving me tribute. I guess. Tearhood's been pretty good for giving me tribute. Tournament you were in front of them. <laughs> so I see we're having a historical Japanese invasion of Korea. Except it's kind of successful this time. A little bit. Yeah, just a little bit early on the timeline. Ding dong. So I might oh. see um, if I can... I accept. Uh, I will not refuse the Great Empire Emperor of the Great Empire. The Emperor. Uh, Portugal is colonizing over in South Africa. As long as just to me, as long as it takes them a while to get the... Uh, Jesus. Yeah, actually, you know what? I don't care that... Uh, also, Inca is looking real big. Did anyone oh have a look at Inca? Oh, yeah. No. Hmm. Well, uh, they've almost united all of the Andes. The uh, religious war has definitely happened, considering the war that Spain is in right now. And uh, the fact that their capital is sieged by Bavaria, of all people. It suffice to all the best hostages. Seems like it'll be a uh, fairly short fight. In whose really, favor, I won't fought, tell you. You fought that long and that hard to become independent from Oirat just for you to give up? Yeah, pieces of garbage. Now I'm declaring war on you, so I, so I can actually get the land. Are you fighting Shun? Wait. Yeah, Shun in Mongolia declared an independence war, and they ended up losing. Well, okay. Uh, are you fighting Oirats, then? Why do I have a looming disaster? The Unguarded Nomad Frontier. What is this? Uh... Uh, no just, uh, just, just oh, I just need to go bully the nomads. So yeah, I'm going to uh, go after Oirat. Okay, uh, I'd be happy to help you fight Oirat. I suppose I can try and what squeeze the alliance. Interesting. In now that I, now that your nation isn't as angry with me. Alright, I'm marching my guys north. Well, I... I'm going to do this right now. <laughs> Alright, I'm almost dropping below 100% over expansion. And it was totally fine. And everyone was happy. No one had any problems at all. 
I'm so happy to finally be coring all of the lands. Why did I get... Well, you know what? I don't care about poor quality copper. That, uh... Dude that I'm supposed to remember the name of that from, like, 5000 BC that people know because he made such bad copper. I don't care about him. You've seen that before, right? Chaos, at least. Which one? The uh, guy, I, I think Babylon, that made such awful copper that we were able, that he's like one of the first like financial texts we were able to decipher. Oh, uh, yeah, I vague, vaguely remember know what you're on about. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Someone, uh, yeah, yeah the someone the complaining guy, about The guy me, who yeah. went and complained is like, you've sold me terrible quality product, and I demand recompense. Neighboring country has exacted step nomads, total own and non-tributary subject development is at least 300. Not subject Asin, no truce with Tang, not ally with Tang. So because uh, I border sorry. nations that are, are nomadic, that's the unguarded nomad frontier. Okay. So yeah, I need to actually do this pretty quick, because I have a looming disaster where I need to Finish this war in a hundred months. Which is interesting. At least. The Polynesian Triangle stuff is just quite spread out. Confused by that. But... Yeah. Well. Oh god, I'm about to fight step nomads outside of Beijing. This is not going well. Get me that this is not tech. cash money. Oh, thank God, their techs are way behind. Oh my god, it hurts. Ow, ow, I, re I remember ow. who made the bizarre quote now. It was Steven Seagal who said, you know, <laughs> I love I, I love the Asian culture. I really, you know, I feel at home in Asia. <laughs> uh, of course that would be Steven Seagal. It, it, yeah, I was like, it's yeah, something really bizarre Asian and stupid. Okay. <laughs> and who could be better at being bizarre and stupid than Steven friggin' Seagal? Uh, Mr. Seagal. Why must you be this way? Ah! So, do be careful fighting these guys, because they do do 20... Why is that siege at 92%? They do do 25% more damage on flat terrain. Okay, well, uh, we're fighting them in mountains, 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 and slightly more mountains. If you'll see where the central, like, OIR of the Oirad is, that's where I'm fighting them. Okay, good. Because I fought them outside of Beijing, and let me tell you, it hurt. <laughs> you accidentally, your whole friggin' army. No, I still won. It was just it was a little bit more painful than I'd like to be. Anzu, perfect. Alright, all of my armies are going toward Mongolia. 
in related areas. Okay. Mongolia and Mongolia adjacent regions. So uh, I'm also you, going to put you, a time. Are you or have oh. you ever been a member of the Mongolian Khanate? <laughs> so uh, I'm also going to put a time limit on Japan. So that, uh, well, I guess I could make Corchin a tributary and that would count because they would count as a vassal under me then. Because uh, unguarded frontier, yeah. Oh, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, well, I'm like I'm, I'm coring right now. Well, uh, Arad is definitely having a bad time, seeing as they didn't leave anything to defend themselves at home. I could actually, you know, I'll move to um. Yeah, I just got my 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 revolt, so I move my units to Nivk and uh, attack Udek. But yeah, you basically just need the the to not border on uh, Steppe Nomads. Is that it? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, I mean you can't reach Korch in that. Um, I do plan to attack them. Uh, what happens to your mandate or whatever if... Uh... Um, if I don't have a peace treaty or they are not a vassal, I start to have a... Uh, vassal tributary or whatever. I start to have a... Uh, disaster pop up, but it only pops up at one. Every oh, month, Shun's in this war too. I didn't even notice that. Well, what, yeah, but what does that exactly mean? Because like, uh, yeah, like I do plan long term to get into uh, like basically all of Girin, but I don't want to ruin your nation by going for Korchin and if breaking a tributary or something. I'm not quite sure. Oh, how I just works. need to not border people who are step nomads. It doesn't matter who else I border. Yeah, sure. Um, but it will take a while for me to actually he get there. He doesn't mind bordering Tibetans as long as I don't accidentally become the Kalka Horde or something like that. Um, yeah, Iggy, do, do you want to call, call me into this? Oh, this this way, fine. We, we, we I, I already this. have troops. We got this. Well, I, mean, I, uh, if you want I've, to, already, yeah, I've already got troops in Tibet. All right, I like yes, I will. Should... Uh, hang on. Uh, I'm not the war leader, so it would have to mm. be the tank who called you in. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, feel free to call me in. I, I do actually have 20,000 troops in Tibet right now. He's um, got a bunch of cool uh, dudes who are hanging out here partying with the boys in Tibet. I mean, I suppose if you want to. I uh, yeah, will not ask for anything, just uh, I want I to be involved. Nothing you know? but my honor. Yeah. Oh, there's actual people for me to buy over here. Perfect. Yay, I get to do Oh, hey, it looks like we're gonna fight a battle at Dornogovi together. My guys are gonna arrive about a week and a half after the battle begins. You'll probably have won it already, but. Oh, they've got reinforcements coming in, so I guess it's good that I'm sending some fellows over. You know what? I could, like... Oh, did you just cancel out on that? Oh, no, you're going the other way. Rip. Sorry, I misunderstood where that army was going. It oh, looked I, like they were marching I didn't to Donagobi. I didn't even realize that you were talking about my army. No, I was talking about your army. Uh... Yeah, they're all dead. Well, I could, I could actually um, basically like chain through Udega and then be able to reach Korchin that way. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, um, uh, I guess there's not a huge rush on uh, getting to Korchin as long as I beat them up. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Beating them up? Okay, I can't piece them out yet for what I want to piece them out for. I want to bully them for as much money as they possibly can give me, so that way I have a longer piece Oh good, I just sieged down the Shun Fortress in their capital. Oh my god, there's so many horsemen! They just don't stop coming! Yeah, uh, my army is currently That's on the other end of the right. route right now. Ah. I'll just gather my troops together for a moment. Hey, Mr. Khmer, mm -hmm. did you happen to notice your army on Lanzhou's um, black flag? I told him it's, that uh, earlier. It's what, sir? Hey, your army's black yeah, flagged, yeah. it can't fight. There we go, what? I fixed it. Problem uh, solved. I, I will just request for Khmer to give me that land back since I had to <laughs> cede it to him on black flag his army. I 
first I wouldn't request even though you have uh, permanent claims on Shun that uh, as they are rightful part of China, they are seated here. I'm obviously not going to take anything from Shun. I don't think I have rightful claims on them, do I? Do, I, but... I, oh, you do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know who I was talk uh, who Hobo was talking to there, but um, yeah, if you're talking to me, then that's that's cool with me. I kind of figured that you would be going after them at some point. Oh! Congratulations, we've always... conquered Asia. <laughs> no, I just. <laughs> <laughs> We're still going. We just got one of the. Uh... Step people out. Are you moving into... Where are you moving? I'm more moving into Darnagavi first. Okay, oh, uh, yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah, don't worry, don't worry. I've I was moving into has... Uran for a moment. But, uh, yeah, that's all good. My, uh, my... Sorry, go ahead. Is it also possible for you to give the lands of the Shun? Yes, of course. Let me hand that over to the rightful owners. Take it. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so earlier when you were talking, I thought you meant Chang Sheng down, down in the south. Um, for some reason, yeah. We can uh, heal firm later on, I guess. I assume, Hobo, you'll be going for Chang Sheng. Yeah, they are... I'm taking half of them. Okay, uh... The Sephards are doing something illegal and walking off the north end of the world. That's against the rules. <laughs> I, can, I literally cannot walk where they're walking right now. I think I should just attach to your army here, so uh, we don't uh, get caught sure, out. Sure, yeah, attach to one of my smaller armies, though. Uh, honest, like, the, the, the support is not good here, and my manpower is poor. I only gave me one arm option for attaching, so I've done that. Fair enough. Well, this army is only, uh, only 9,000 anyway, so... Could you uh, also give so me... So only 9,000! <laughs> Southern also, bits of war. Uh, between. yeah, yeah, sure, um, hang on a sec, I'm just maneuvering my armies around because there's a bunch of friggin' oi rats around. Uh, could you tell me which areas you'd specifically like? Uh, the Ordos region. The Ordos region, oh yes, that makes sense. There we go. I've given you the Shun and the Ordos. Do you want Inner Mongolia as well, I assume? Uh, there won't be enough horror score for it. Okay, well I'll give it to you anyways, just so that in case you do accidentally grab it, it won't leave any weird borders. Oh, hang on. Well, I've already... 17,000 Oirat tribes just arrived. I need to walk back and deal with that. Well, I mean, I guess if they're making the tribes, it's... Uh, it's well, yes, but the, accompanying them are 19,000 Dudege. Alright, uh, I'm about to start losing occupations now. Because these friggin' guys are just marching in from the north. It's terribly annoying. Oh, Mares in Mongolia. Who would have thought? Who would indeed? Well, uh. I can do what I wanted to. Okay. If, uh, that is fine. Sure, yeah. Uh, and if you wanted to grab me anything, uh, get me the stuff in Torpan Kumul and South Zungaria areas. 
Why would I get you? No, I'm just kidding. Well, um, if you were to, those are the areas I'm most interested in. I su We'd have to do more war. I don't know if you'd want to keep going. Oh, I'm totally good to keep going. I've got another 10,000 yeah. manpower left. Basically just taking the Shun and Ordos, which is 90% war score, but I can still, you know, give some, a couple of territories over to you to complete Makes sense. Uh, one of the areas you have. Well, they could be Utega have been totally unaffected by this war. Um, question, I just noticed... Uh... Chaos's tech is ahead of everyone else. Um, yes, despite the fact that I haven't have raised. How have you managed that, Chaos? That's an impressive uh, I just, one. Though. I just always get my tech when it goes to minus 5% cost, regardless of if I have the uh, institution or not. So are you just not spending on ideas and things at the moment? Uh, well, I've got three full idea sets, and I'm not filling out a third slot just yet. Hmm. Yeah, no, I don't know how you did that. I, um... I'm running some upgraded advisors, but not... Yeah, I'm, not, I'm just running minimum level advisors, 1-1-1s. One, one, oh, okay. I, I'm, I'm like 2-2-2, two, 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 but still... Uh, I don't have enough. Alright, I'm marching some guys over into Udig. Uh, I see Udig. that the uh, that the Sep tribes are trying to cross the, uh, the Cockley Gap. Um, you can see that my fort system is beautiful. I've got forts that block all of the northern paths into Tibet. So they have yeah. to siege to ever be able to make their way into that. As they uh, immediately... I'm going, to, I'm going to not bother fighting these Oirat tribes in Oirat, because they're way outside of the area I want to occupy anyways, and I don't think I'll lose very much war score from losing Tanu, Oria, and Kai in its three development. Um, should I send reinforcements from myself? I see there's like 40k. Oh yeah, yeah, they're starving to death and I've got 31k and I'm about to defend on a uh, desert fort. It's not that great of course. Okay. But it's, uh, it's alright. It's, uh, 18k of that is the Khmer, so I just like to put that. Also, uh, I yeah. have a, uh, thing to note to Tibet. Yo. Uh, Bengal allied Chang Sheng. Interesting. So we can fight Chang Sheng and then use that to I beat could up Bengal. I could fight Chang Sheng, beat up Bengal, and force them to unally their people uh, Bahamas and Delhi, and then you swoop in. Yes, or we could just fight Bengal conventionally. All right. Uh, yeah, here we go. Coming in for this. Oh, there it looks like they're backing out to Turfan. Let's cut them off in Turfan. All right, and right. now we can go in. Oh, turns and out cut them off in Turfan again, and now we go in. It turns out we don't need to. We get the worst score. Oh well, well okay. Congratulations, soldiers! You don't have to die. <laughs> yeah, something, something. Uh... Some of you will die, but uh... that's correct. I'm prepared to blah blah blah. No, it's, oh, mine's gone blind. I was thinking of um, Art of War. Uh, was it Sun Tzu said, like, the the greatest art is defeating your enemy without fighting? Yes. So uh, I guess we did that. He had some, some suitably uh, humble statements. So. Alright, so, I need um, to fabricate some new claims against Irat. I have a request from yes. the vet. If you look at the uh, regions map mode, you'll notice that uh, the territory of Yumin is technically part of North China. Oh yeah, it's in West Gansu. And, is that uh, an I'd issue? Like, I'd like to complete my mission of uniting the home region. Very well. Uh, I am willing to send you sell you Yumin. Or, or, or could I temporarily transfer it over? I don't know. Uh, yeah, very well. Although, our borders look kind of nice there. But, if, if if that is the issue, then I could transfer it, and then you could transfer it back, or I guess you could just keep it. It just looks kind of weird. Just jabbing into Tibet. Yes. But, 
Uh, well, if, I mean, if it will help you get I, your mission, I know how important missions are. It is 50 of each monarch power, which, you know, is pretty reasonable. Yeah, and, and but more importantly, it's the missions that you get after it. Oh, I only have base missions. That's the that's the bottom one. Oh. All right. Well, I'm trying to think of how much it would cost me to core it back if we traded it, you got it, and then gave it back. Uh, it's only six development, so it's not that much. All right. Yeah. Sure. I'll just uh, sell province. You men. Um. So I was just going to improve relations with go. Brunei, but. I, Brunei would be willing to become a tributary of me, or... Wait. It's not me asking them... It's not me asking to become their tributary, apparently. It's... Are they offering to become the tributary? No, I just see a green tick next to establish tributary on the Diplo options. Uh, I wasn't expecting that. So should I go for that then, do you think, and get Brunei as a tributary? Is there any downside to that? Uh, I mean, you could always have it them. It stops you from being able to like annex them directly, but like mm -hmm. that's not really an issue. But they're, they're allied with Malacca right now, so I don't know if he would be willing to fight Brunei right now. I'm going to go for it and see what happens. Uh, I wasn't planning to fight Malacca anytime soon. So, uh, do you just need to successfully core Yumen then? Uh, I mean, as much as I'd love to keep my place nice and united, I suppose I should. Well, it's not. It's thought. not really that big a deal if it's useful for you to continue having it. Again, minimum development desert province in the Gansu Corridor. Technically speaking, that is the first province I've lost all game. <laughs> I mean, I Man, wouldn't mind. Delhi just got out. pantsed by someone. I certainly wouldn't mind keeping it, but yeah. Yeah. Well, if you wish to keep it, and, uh, you know, I wouldn't be that opposed to doing that, especially given that you've been very chill about me having Yi and Bao areas. I mean, I would also technically like those, but, you know, I can't, you know have the world, I guess. <laughs> I mean, it does mean less in the next stage, because I've actually completely maxed out. I wonder if I should start a Golden Era. No, I should start a Golden Era next stage. This would be early for a Golden Era. Plus, I think you'd probably at least want Bengal before making that paradigm shift. Most likely. Okay. Yes. There's one province of Changsheng that's in the Siam trade node. Uh, we'd kind of like two, to have that. It's the two provinces of Vietnam. Songla, I'd kind of like to have. Khao Bang uh, is in the Vietnam area too, so eh. 
I yeah, care well, less I'm... about the areas there because if I did, I would be wanting Vietnam from you. Yeah. You complete the Canton node, but eh. it's fine. I'm drawing my borders off of the actual areas rather than uh, trade. I like that they have a lot of sort of semi-inconsistent boundaries between these things, so that there's not a single optimized border. And how goes uh, Japan? Very good. So it's going to get a new idea, and I think economic for the development cost and inflation reduction is pretty nice. Wait, hang on. Oh yeah, I'm going to get economic ideas. What? Uh, I don't see anything about development in uh, It's the final one. Ideas. It's the oh, before okay. you get 20% yeah. reduced development cost. Yeah. I'm quite tempted to go for that, actually. I was going to go for maritime ideas, but I think that might be more of a light to light to thing once I've got my colonies up and uh, uh, the naval tradition is quite like, interactive. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Probably look at where I'm getting most of my money right now, and then I can maximize that. So, most of my income is from tax, but trade is pretty significant. Yeah, I might actually go for maritime ideas and start building naval tradition. Which worked out pretty well for me in the, the England game. Ooh, actually, maybe I want to go exploration ideas. Not a bad idea. Although, um... Actually, yeah, yeah, just for more settlers. Oh, I mean, uh... Has anyone called dibs on Australia yet? I can't remember. I think that's for um, you. Yeah, I think I know, um, Australia's I, Angst is your, your zone. Angst is heading to America. Um... Heading to America. Yeah, okay, let's do this. Exploration. And I can immediately get quests for New World. Excellent.
Uh, Tang, do you want to call me in in this war against Bengal? Um, no, actually, I don't. Okay. Because I want to uh, tear away Bengal's allies first so you can declare one of them after. Without costing you, so you I just know. got a thirty-eight-year-old ruler who is a one-one-zero. Yeah, that's uh, that's definitely He's something. He's thirty-eight. Oh man, I cannot get this man killed fast enough. So, Hobo, are you planning to claim all of Changsheng? Uh, no, remember I said I just want the two parts that are on the side of China, and then I'm just oh, going okay. to them there for you to take. I only want Song Hua, is my only uh, desire from that. Um, yeah, the other territory is already in the area of Vietnam that you own, so... I mean, I'm, I'm happy for you to take... Kiao bang, Kiao, Kiao bang. Don't, nah, 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 don't cow bang, man. That's not good. It looked too weird, being so <laughs> far in. Oh, I guess uh, unless Chaos stakes it, they'll uh, they'll end up being a one province minor. It's kind of I'm buffer not state. To take any of Chang uh, There will be the. Uh, <laughs> That's too far into China. There'll be the Navarra of the the east. <laughs> Why don't you just take it? I don't want it. It's literally I, in an area you already have. I consider it too far into China. In fact, uh, it, it, it is like, literally I'm a, I'm a, part of the, uh, the Vietnamese region. So, uh, Japan, how's it going? You're, you've been quite quiet. I uh, just specialized yeah. Udega. Trying to integrate uh, it and feed it a lot, a lot of stuff. Oh, ooh, oh those guys over in uh, Siberia. Yeah. yeah oh, Siberia. I'm just immediately attack now, actually. What do you call that region? Is it Kamchatka, I guess? Or? Yeah, I also got that, those parts, I guess. Oh, I've discovered Australia. Yeah. Oh crap, I do actually have a colonist I could be sending out. Um... Is there a, a map mode that shows you like the most optimal places to put colonies? Uh, optimal? Um, not sure. Uh, colonial distance, yeah. yes. On your it's actually like the north coast of Australia doesn't look too bad compared to Papua New Guinea oh, provinces. That's a so huge mistake. Not. Ah, uh, it's annoying. What's wrong? I uh, got a lot, bunch of ones trapped in a province here. All right, to bet. Uh, yeah, just, I just uh... broke Bengal's allies. Well, most of them. I left Changsheng there specifically so you can force feed uh, the rest of Vietnam to Khmer, whether they want it or not. Uh. 
I see who are they all with us now. Uh, all with us I mean, Bengal. Look at that. Look, look if you take Cow Bay, it'd be a nice straight border. Um, I mean, if you insist, but I kind of honestly, I kind of like the idea of them just being there as like one province thing, a bit like uh. I don't know, find it annoying. Morocco, I Navarra. I don't, I don't see it as being annoying. I, I, I figure, like, I could have probably eaten up a psalm, but they give me stuff, and... Well, yeah, but it's some sizable, and, you know, nestled between the mountains, and looks nice. Yeah, that's true. A is Shang. my lovely little Shang. river valley people. I kind of don't like that they have Koch. Yeah. But so it goes. But yes, I would suggest going against Bengal before uh, they yeah, get before new they allies. Get... They've allied Chang Shang and Bundokan, so yeah, they're pretty vulnerable right now. I'm raising my troops. Bamboozled by poor quality copper man again. <laughs> that rap scallion. Hang on, I just had 100% annexation on one of my vassals. Why isn't that going forward? Should do it next it'll month. Oh, it'll complete at the end of this month. And then I'll declare war. Oh, wait, hang on. I'm still truced with them. From the last oh. war. When does that truce end? Fifteen ninety-five. I've still got another six years of truce with Bengal. Should have checked that. Never mind why I brought all my armies right next to your port of Bengal. Have a nice day. Should have checked that before. Uh, how about John Poor? Who's John Poor allied with? Afghanistan and Multan. That feels like a shockingly winnable war, really. Um, if I fabricated a claim on Changsheng, um, and they got war on them, and I could then call you in, Chaos, and they're allied yeah. with their goals, so would that work? Yeah, that would work. Okay, you got me. Uh, wait, what? I mean, wait. The only thing that I the only stuff. thing that I would say is then it would cost you a lot of diplomatic power to uh, take it. 
take Bengali's land. Like, a lot oh. of it, because Bengal's land is uh, very high development. Oh. By you, I mean Tibet. And yes. I don't know if that really suspend it. You know, 400 diplomatic power to take some land. Rather than waiting a few years. Okay. Wait, what happened to my explorer? Uh. Still exploring, jeez. Off the uh, south coast of Australia. It's been uh, at sea for years. What's going on? I haven't lost any ships. Uh, explorers don't take attrition. Ah, uh, that, yeah. That explains why. I'm not sure how accurate that is. I seem to remember, like, Christopher Columbus <laughs> lost uh, most of his ships. Anyway. At least it's not the old exploration system where you had to manually explore into uh, sea zones yourself and then explore yep. back and forth on a coastline because it only had like a 50% chance to be discovered to you every time you sailed past it. Uh, yep, I remember fond memories of <laughs> EU too. That the old westernization system where you just had to share a border with a western nation. The A on Russia is over Uzbek at this point. They're growing. They're metastasizing. Not like that. I'm still so behind yeah, in the NSEC. Where did I put my... Bahmanis are trying to support Pegu's independence. That's a potential issue. On the uh, the Age of Reformation, um, on the abilities that you can purchase, one of them is prestigious conversions, and it says prestige per development from missionary plus 0.3 percent. I'm not quite sure what that means. Uh, so that means you gain prestige whenever you convert a territory based okay. on the development. Oh right, I see. Because I was thinking it was there was some mechanic where missionaries could help develop provinces, like you can do with colonists, but. I'm guessing that's not a thing. Nope, it was just uh, you gained prestige based development of the uh, territory you converted. Well, that makes sense. Alright. 
just grab some stuff from my subjects and had to make sure that I could get everyone in time so that no territory falls. So I had my troops all really spread out. Who needs tributaries when you have an amazing nation, right? I mean, I like tributaries regardless. I'm gonna pull a bad idea. Maybe. No, I'm gonna wait till my mandate's higher. It cost me 80 mandate to do a celestial reform, which, as you know, when you go under 50, your nation doesn't like it very much. Oh, right, right, right. It's uh, 1590. Remember to upgrade, update, uh, blah, blah. Upgrade your centers of trade if possible. Yes. Uh -huh. So amused that Lass is not a center, but I guess Katmandu is. Is it worth taking out loans? For, uh, you know, I'll take out some loans for this from my estates. Yeah. It's probably not going to be until like 20 years from now, but yeah, it just occurred to me that that's something I need to start putting my money into. was actually taking boring money from them was not I was expecting that rebellion so fast. So the Bahmanis are very spooky. But 74,000 isn't unbeatable, and I'm pretty fortified. Who's about oh, Mongolia me? declared war on Oira again. You whacked it. Yeah. Wait, the outside. Ah, I can take some Kyrian provinces still, but yeah. Yeah, I'll leave them alone for a bit, honestly. I need Odega to chill the fuck out, like, get over it. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, they seem to have low enough liberty desire. At the moment, yeah, but they, like, I want the relations up so they don't, like, give massive aggressive expansion issues, stuff like that. Uh, nothing says quality like Chinese Congo. 
so close. Ah, I love it. Um, so, Chaos, here's a crazy idea. Um, yes. I'm looking at VJ Yanagar right now. Yeah. Um, with greedy eyes looking towards uh, Sri Lanka. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Are you thinking I'm wondering. I'm thinking it might give me a base to be able to support you in operations, so to speak, in the, in the Indian subcontinent. That seems plausible. If if I was able to take out that they Vijay Onega is really in a bad place, it looks like that. They are, yes. Who, who are they? You, you know, would be, uh, that would oh, be oh. great. Waiting what? until Vijay is weak enough that you can vassalize them. Mm. And then having so many reconquest cores against Bumhut. <laughs> oh wow, that's also uh, an attractive idea. Yeah, I see them actually. The ally to Orissa. Um, so I always think of Orissa being a military powerhouse. From what would be the effect of making something games. a world center of trade, or a world trade center, if you will? Uh. Where's my little... I know hilariously for you because it's on Lhasa, it uh, does lower the development. Yeah, but Lhasa, of course, doesn't... <laughs> doesn't get That's to that. Uh, Center of Trade. I forget exactly what it is for level 3. Yeah, but, like, uh, uh, is is there a specific effect? Because, like, my trade income is so poor. Like, actually, honestly, maybe uh, my move... Like, Tibet's trading options are bad. It, because it either creases. I focus on Samarkand and try to feed stuff in towards Samarkand, or I focus on Bengal. It gives an extra plus Bengalis. 15 local ah. trade power and 10% cheaper development cost. Mm. As well as an extra building slot in the area. Or in that province. No, actually in the state. So all the territories in that state get an extra well, development. I've, I've upgraded slot. every single potential one to a uh, center of trade. Oh yeah, that's right. I have a port over here in Africa. That means I can hire an explorer and uh, start exploring. Wait, in Africa, so, did you say? Yeah, I have uh, Inham Bain off the coast of uh, Zimbabwe. Oh, how do you manage that? Uh, I colonized Cocos Island to the south of Indonesia, and then I had enough range. Oh, wow. Didn't even notice. Oh, I see you now. Time to take up. It was so slowly. It was a seabrush on the horizon, so... And I'm like, 1500, everything behind. Yeah. You do need to rush a little bit there. Oh. Yeah. Random question, is there anything stopping Tibet going against Uzbek? Uh, I don't really want to weaken them so that uh, Russia can just roll through them. Fair. Even though I think Russia would be able to roll through them if they well, tried. Well, you raise a reasonable point, and I have fabricated tons of claims on Uzbek. They're allied with Delhi. What is not... Ugh. But I could probably fight the both of them at once. Can I get other, like, rival options than you guys? <laughs> no, because you're not close enough to 
Yeah. I mean, and once I get to the new world and actually... Because I haven't made it to the west coast yet, so... The Mamluks have booted... The English off? Oh. Mamluks are back. Uh, also, that's booted Chaos off. Uh, yeah, well, I'm, I'm so far back on tech, uh, on, on institutions right now. Venus is spooky. Like... Russia is spooky. France is not that spooky. Where's my cat? Um, do you guys want to increase the game speed, by the way, for all that? Please, I'm good, or... yeah. I don't know if it makes much difference, actually. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind. I'm just kind of chilling right now. Well, there's a bit of Ordos. Get out of here. Troop, that's okay. Jesus. So sadly, Bahmanis has rivaled me and is now making all of my vassals be little pissy jerks. Mm. That sucks. But it's okay. Coffee now. Tasty. But coffee is only made in the New World in Yemen. Um, apparently not. It's also in Ben, 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 Ben. Oh yeah, Stewie. there's a small chance for it to pop up in some of these territories. Indonesia. Oh my God, Korea, you're not doing too good. Oof. Noble... Noble rebels. There you go. Oh, looks like they just... had a uh, regime change. I like how uh, one of the texts is that for uh, infantry is just called Asian Mass Infantry. <laughs> mm. I'm checking out a big fat loan. 
picture else that goes with this one. So if it wasn't for the massive pile of administrative power I still need, I'm almost caught up on tech. I see that a bunch of your Caradel separatists have run into my territory, sir. I was going to go chase them out of mine, so I suppose I shall chase them out of yours instead. That's almost modern Mongolia borders. Holy crap. Well. Oh. I just accidentally built heavy ships instead of white ships. Um, well, oh well, you can use those to fight people. Uh, yeah, I also, guess I have a uh, big... your move to go against Vigianagar has to go fast because look at what Bomanis are doing. Oh, but uh, v Vijay is still like uh, three wars worth of territory. Oh, that's a really high development still. Uh -huh. Yeah, um... Hmm. I'll start building a spy network on them. We'll see what happens. Damn it, I, I meant to build more light ships for my trade income, but I've accidentally built like 15 heavy ships. Uh, wow. It's 1593 and England is still England. Well, <laughs> maybe they meant to do it. Maybe it's made of me. Who tie insulted me? I might actually want to go to war with uh, Ku Tai and Majapa Heat here. Secure my southern flank, so to speak, for any other adventures. They're also the Allied of Tondo, which is basically most of the Philippine point, which is surely kind of scary. Uh, Navy wise. Uh. Oh, 34 ships. Oh, friggin' Delhi's getting access through Jaunpur. Gonna have to send my guys around to deal with that before they grab my capital region. Um, are you okay over there, Chaos? I'm seeing. Yeah, yeah. Uh... The, I just declared the. Uh, if we could go speed two, I can't handle speed three right now. Sure. If you want to call me in, I've got my troops in uh, Lhasa. Yeah, sure. Just move them away from Lhasa then. I need to. Um, I'll start raising. Sure, I'll play it. Maintenance. 
I'll, I'll tell you, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll call you in when you guys can actually fight, not just swiftly die. Yeah. Oh, well then, I just had, uh, every discovery sent at me, so I can actually see Europe now. Oh, no, I actually got- Oh, yeah, what? What just happened? Okay, so let's see. What the heck? I- I had the two, what- what on earth is going on? They actually haven't gone- Oh, po okay, Portugal is in Mexico, I see, but not- not much, actually. But a lot, of course, but- How do we all- Only all took just... 12? What the fuck? Uh, I'll call you in now. Okay. Like, I was exploring America, so maybe there's a trigger there, I'm not quite sure. Oh, well, it looks like Protestants won the war, because... And Inga's Brandon getting beat up by, uh, by the Spanish. England has gone Anglican and cannot form... They can't pour Britain because of the Danes. <laughs> <laughs> the Danes and the Norwegians, by the way, so jeez. How does this make you feel, Thanks. Uh, well, Danes are always stupid, honestly. Um, oh, what are we even doing here at this moment? So they're fighting. Sweden, of course. Still Norway as a partner. Like 16, and they have 32k, and Sweden has nothing. The market's actually doing oh, well, this is apparently uh, never actually going south whatsoever. I mean, somehow they took like I don't know, sure but enough. they allied both Akkoyunlu and Karaman, so they haven't bothered to go south. Because the Tickard is actually further, like, like, I'm less behind than I thought. Uh, you say that, Russia is now actually above Mongolia. So, uh, oh lord, he coming. Oh yeah, he's right, but the thing is not as bad as I thought it would be. Oh. I had rebels spawn on my army. Yeah, I it's think just, I got uh... this. I do have, I have 130,000 oh. troops. Jellian army trying to push back into Purang. So let's see if we can just catch those guys. Oh, we're, I'm going to squeeze them and they're going to be trapped. These guys have such bad tactical sense, it's amazing. Alright, let's move to Giryong. We're going to trap them in. Oh, I'll just block the, uh, them off here, though, the Russians, so I don't lose the coal already. Alright. 
chaos. Yes. If you push no north enough through Oirat, you'll get a piece of coal. Yes, I know. Alright, I'm, uh, I'm attacking... Oh. I'm touch your army. Okay, yep. Oh, I see. Mm. Yeah, uh, they're, they're going to attack into my uh, little vassal region here. So. Here we go. Here's the fight. In Chobisi Hills. I'm feeling good about this. We hit on the 20... No, actually, it's a surprisingly long time until we hit. What happens if but other armies with you have also have void as leaders? Um, does it uh, count at all? How did I... Oh, oh, one of my forces got in first. Like, how did I lose that battle? I can rival Spain now. Not sure it's a good idea, though. But Inca uh, Spain beat has up Spain a negative now. 80 with us because they went super Catholic in the Council of Trent. Yeah, but like, I don't want to be like the only rival of them. Mm. Our projection is nice, so, you know, screw it. Oh, hey, I could rival Russia. Would you look at that? Nice. Always want also to do it as soon as I can. Oh. Honk, honk, get out of here. Nice. heading towards the hall. Are my troops not reinforcing? Uh, are they that to be on friendly territory, right? Oh, for some reason you guys detached, but that's okay. Oh, wait, what? Well, they're sieging down stuff, so actually that's fine. This is fine. Civil War. But actually, my uh Korean stuff has been has expired, so I think I'm going to uh, fight them. Poor, will you give me military access, my good friend? 
Well, they will. Thanks, John Poor, for selling out Delhi. Appreciate it. You need any help in Afghanistan, because... Uh, no, no, I don't really think there is any, any, uh, threat in Afghanistan. Unless, of course, you mean America, in which case, maybe. Um, I think I actually mean Northern Delhi. Oh, oh, that area. Uh, yeah. No, 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 I've got, you, you've already got, uh, oh wait, that's Ayataya's army is here with me. As is Mong Pai's. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, nice of I tired to show. Yes. I didn't. I don't have any artillery with me over here in the west, okay. so it's just going to take a while. Starving them out, I guess. Yes, starve the beast. Shouting curses at them over the walls until they get Your depressed. <laughs> My mother, what? My mother, what? My mother, what? <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I don't know where the rest of that goes. <laughs> what about her? I haven't heard from her lately. How's she doing? Oh, pretty well, actually. She's in good health. Oh, lol. I just ran into Delhi's rebel. Oh, wait, no, that's Ayutthaya and I ran into Delhi's rebels. And Ayutthaya just retreated out of the battle with Delhi's rebels. Lol, Delhi's rebels are better fighters than Delhi. Okay, yeah, now I do need some help over there because Delhi's rebels just spawned in Dawaba. Uh, okay, let me see what I can do. Um, so I'll keep the siege going. And we've. Uh, uh, oh, I just captured four. Okay, that's weird. They decided to surrender after seeing half of my army moving away. Uh, logic. Wow. The Great Bullion Famine was only just solved. I am uh, disgusted. And uh, it's only found by the Portuguese taking it from the Incans. I, uh, I might do a simultaneous war with Changsheng, because it looks like Bengal's not going to come to the raid. Okay. Um, so, sorry, Hobo, what were you saying about the Incas? Uh, just that event that happens at the start of, oh, oh. The, uh, the Great Bullion Famine, and uh, the Europeans need to solve it. It was only just solved. 150 years later, oh. because neither of the Europeans have bothered to take the uh, gold mine in North Africa, which has now been developed to a 31 development province by the locals. Oh, wow. Yeah, I see, uh, South America, you got like the French, Dutch, Cas oh, Castilians, so we don't have Spain, right. It's all making sense now.
to uh, look and see what I can... I kind of feel like this is a point where... Oh, we're at about to just explode. So let's see. Can I get them to release cash? Oh, cat. Forcing Delhi to release Kashmir could be nice, but I'd have to be careful that one of my vassals didn't immediately yoink it. So maybe it would just be better for me to seize Kashmir from them. And um, Imurechi. Clearly the correct answer is to release the Punjab. Oh, the no, seer him so. never got to be able to be. <laughs> well, uh, I could. Mm, uh, let's see. Well, what what would Punjab be if I did release it? Requires too much war score. All right, Jangladesh is there. Mawar is here. Mawat is here. Nagar is here. Sirmur is up here. And their treaty with Bahmanis. I guess I could do that. Mm, it's a bit pricey though. Don't think I'm going to do that. Oh, I could I could force them to return things to my friends. The only things they can return stuff is to like Dundar though. Where the heck is Dundar? Well, that's kind of funny. Debating if returning cores is useful. To like other Indian powers bordering the Bahmanis. No, I think I think self-interest rules the day today. Force them to release Kangra. I will make them annul the tree. Man, it says it just costs 10 war score, but they really will not do that. Okay. And um, by the way. Yes. Sorry. Sorry, go ahead. I was just asking um, how do I actually get tribute from my tributary? Do I have to specifically do it, or is it an automatic thing? Um, it's a thing that happens every year, but you have to specify the tribute you're getting. Because I've not had any event pop up for it. Uh, I'll tell you in just a moment. Sure. All nice. Right. I just took some stuff from Delhi. And uh, um, then I will see what I can take from where at. I've just taken a screenshot. I think it's kind of glitched because it's saying Tibetan casualties was zero 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 zero. zero. Apparently we didn't lose any men in that war. Alright, where's the coal province, baby? That one's very far up. Also that's Oirat. And the other one's in Transoxiana. Right, no, it isn't. It's Uzkend. Okay, uh, let's see. Alright, 
currently oh, my over extension is 26%, so I can take 74% over extension. I see Sweden is being owned by Denmark right now. And the Norwegians. Okay, uh, and let's see, are there any resources I really want just beyond that? Not really. I can force them to give stuff to Oirat, which would kind of help balance out the strength of the steps a little bit, do you think? Mm. What do you think, Oboe? Uh, have what do what? Have Uzbek give back some stuff to Oirat. I don't really see a point unless you need to balance out your karma. Yeah, well, it's, it's a little bit of that. My karma My thing is ridiculous. My piece going to cost me 44 karma, lol. I have Estates General, so I'm, I'm getting a new monarch like every 5 or 10 years. Yeah, I do that too. So well, it's, not usually it's by default. Because yeah, that's, that's, actually, so much, that's really strong. You're very, you just very grand seats to get a um, a good monarch. Mm, it's very hard yeah, monarch too. And even if it's bad, it could, could recycle it. Because I could yeah. recycle it. And so that's how you should go for it. Like it's, it's bad if you try to uh, personal union stuff. They will follow you after you. Um, it's just difficult. But personal unions isn't really a thing here. So. All right. Well. Congrats. Thank you. Your forces made a critical contribution to that war, and really, I need to I need to siege up the the Nepal Bhutan gap. I need to fortify that area. I uh, had all kind of the ledger, and VJ Anger has a slightly bigger navy than I do. So I'm thinking uh, of not attacking them. So my borders are beautifully extended mm. up to Lake Balkash. Also, the Oirat, oh. the Uzbek tribes are retreating back into Uzbekistan, which is very funny. Okay, John Poor, thank you for giving me military access to kneecap your neighbor. I appreciate it. Actually, corn most of my land. I have a hundred and fifty forts limit. Well done. 
Nice. Nice. Yeah, I've got 132 uh, potentially from my uh, quantity ideas, but I kind of feel like that's overkill for me to, to build up to that right now. Um, thinking my main problem is actually uh, on the seas, so I need to put up my naval capacity. Oh yeah, speaking of, I got, uh, I'm not going to wait until tech 7, I'm not going to wait like 12 years to upgrade my transports. Oh, Inca, it's not the time for you to do that. Oh, we're completely breaking down by France. Okay. <laughs> Portugal is just <laughs> digging into uh, Mexico, too. Russian conquest of Crimea. Uh -huh. Wait, they're... Oh, wait, they're winning. Okay. Also, the fact that Theodora lived is very impressive to me. Yeah. I swear to God, why must you leave Changsheng there as a tributary? Hey, <laughs> for, the, for the aesthetics, I feel like it looks good on that. I, I Honestly, think that, you... uh... but but <laughs> if you had taken Changsheng, there would have been a a, a a little strip of land we could have used for tourism to say just run around this uh, concrete thing in the middle that allows you to go between the three nations instantly. Oh, oh man, I didn't think This is a reasonable that. point. The Guangnan, Kaobang, Lingyun area. There we go. I just got plus 40 Siddlers.
Uh, okay, let's just to let you know, I'm going yes. to pull my troops out of Lhasa after... How long has it been? Like 50 years or something? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They have zero army drill, so I think I want to drive. That makes sense. Chill them up. And maybe I'll send them back north again afterwards. So I've managed to get every single one of my neighbors fairly upset with me in terms of aggressive expansion, so I'm just going to play it cool for a bit. Mm. Help out other people do their aggressive expansion. <laughs> so this is a bit of a silly thing, but I think what I'll do is I'll build a transport fleet on my bit of coastline. Just so that I can send people to like help in your island campaigns. Um, well. Yeah, how's those claims on Majapahitakapa? Oh, nice. Ba Money's just stopped supporting my vassals being jerks. Yeah, I've got a couple of claims on the Ba so I could go for them, or I could risk a war with Vijayanagar, but it would be uh, a very even, shall we say. I don't think. Oh, Malaka would help me, actually. Um, hmm. Well, for Mark and Navy, Navy involved that might turn the uh, turn the tide. Yeah, I don't know. I uh, need a little bit more time to prepare. Anyway, I've literally just built a ton of light ships. Definitely light ships this time. Caravels even. Wait, do I need to upgrade my ships? Uh, no, I think we're good. Is that Mongolia being big poo poo hit? Those jerks. Yeah, I would say I have enough claims on Mongolia and the peace treaties over. Um, yeah, they're next. Again. But if they go for a uh, coach in there, um, if well, they take like the provinces, there, then I can actually to get into them. Stuff back from Mongolia. Uh, it's because Oira allied Korchin. Mm hmm. Guess who has cored all of China? Me! Yourself? It only took until almost 1600. And technically not all of China because Tibet, but you know. Does that mean I can have human back? Uh. I mean, if you really, really want it, I suppose. I mean, it's not that big a deal. It just, if I expand north into Oirat, it will be a weird little thing that sticks and it makes the border look less natural. But. Well, I think you should do it because uh, then you can go for Siberia, which will be good for you anyways. Well, and I don't I want, I'm and I want to have a border with weak. Russia eventually so that I can help you yeah. fight them, Japan. Yeah, like, because I don't want a Siberia at all. Um, so if you can, like, take that, that would be I really assume good. you want, like, Far Eastern Siberia. You just don't want, like, Middle of Siberia. So. Uh, I mean, maybe I'm just, like, going, like, seriously you just want going the by, like... Node, but you don't want the Siberia node. Yes. If I understand you. Yes. I mean, I don't mind it. It's more like, you know... It's not my claims, and, uh... I don't have that much use of a territory. I'm 
I'm happy I got the diplomacy ideas because just like going around and soothing everyone's ruffled feathers is so useful. Yeah, diplomacy was the one with uh, imp better improved relations, right? And more diplomats. Yeah, so the higher your improved relations modifier is, the quicker your aggressive expansion goes down. So all the better in your situation. Yes. Yeah, I think I'll let this... Like, as soon as I get the next, next military tick... Oh, they got on to 14 now. Let's see what that does. Um, uh, they get better cavalry, but that's not important at this point. I guess um, unless you're a horde, then it might be. I'm not quite sure. Something, something for the horde. Oh, they're fighting that. That is interesting. Well, they also get better combat with... Hmm. And better infantry. Okay, sure. Okay, okay. I still think I'm, I'll die with them then, because... Screw it. So, uh, interesting fact. I can't fabricate claims on Vijayana because I guess they're too far away. Oof. Also, um, Bengals just embraced. Yeah, I wasn't 100% sure how you were going to do that. I, yeah, I wasn't entirely sure how it works, I, but I could uh, I could potentially colonize the Andaman Islands. That works. Which might... Oh, you but still I'm... need to share a sea tile with them. Oh, do I? Okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, that's how that works. Like I said, I wasn't which, sure uh, how you were going to do that. I thought you were just going to go declare war on them, which I mean, maybe. <laughs> uh, I mean, I could punch do uh, that without causing well, stability, but it's just... Uh, what do you yeah, want to do exactly, minus two, minus two stability. Sorry, X. What do you want to do exactly? I was thinking of attacking Vijay Yanagar and uh, conquering either ah. Sri Lanka or uh, the, the, uh, the Maldives. Yeah, I... Th I think However, they're, they're, uh, they're a bit too far away, and yeah. they're also quite powerful. Doing an amphibious invasion that far away would be uh, difficult. I don't have that many transport ships, so it's a high chance that my armies would just be destroyed piecemeal if I tried to invade. Oh, France. Oh no. You silly goose. Wars of religion. And Denmark is just completely tearing Sweden apart. But they are getting beat up by France. Devonian order on great. Well, that's not, actually not that bad. France is, of course. Yeah, France has 100k and Denmark has 30, so good luck, Denmark. Did you get. Is that that? Danish conquest of Ursul. Okay. Oh. Well. Oh my god, Russia just gained like 200 death. How so? Cocker Kamiak, for sure. Yeah, I did that.
Oh no, I'm losing chips. I I went for a uh, circumnavigation of the world. But yeah. it's, it's, it's not going to work out. I'm not quite sure how to do that safely, honestly. Manage to have enough individual ports that their attrition resets when they get close. Yeah. Um, can I cancel? cancel Hello. Mission? The one ship left. Oh no, they all died. Oh, I can move my capital. You now, want time to select the seat of our dynasty. Location, capital, influence, tag, politics for years to come. I can actually change where the capital is. Hmm. And uh, where I change it gets an extra three development. So, yeah. Would you move it to the coast? Or I mean, Nanyang is incredibly central in China. It's the middle of the Middle Kingdom. Yeah, it's the options of a Beijing, Nanjing, Xi'an, which gets renamed to Chang'an, or Luoyang. Which, uh... I don't understand how... Recon Quest of Korchen. Uh... The winning? Okay. Uh, Luoyang has coal on it, so I want more development there. Give me. <laughs> there we go. Does the development, uh, does the coal bonus scale, by the way? Uh, yeah, for every furnace you have. When we get. The development is health. Uh, well, coal is just a really high. Re resource so okay that makes sense just having more production on it nice not that we'll know what coal is for i'm sorry game okay who the heck what's up it just removed my ability to rival Spain, and uh, apparently I eclipsed Spain and Russia, but I could still rival Khmer and Tibet. Um, okay. okay. I guess it's like something Global regional. Trade. Oh boy. I yeah, still, let's I'm go! Still... I'm still Do you still... Behind. <laughs> of course, my tech's actually still fine, but I'm still in that situation behind. Like, I'm, I'm ahead of time in Diplo and military tech and just slightly behind in admin. As your quick, quick list goes, like, at least you, you're you starting to get printing press through, you know, yeah, Chinese yeah. holdings. Yes, well, I've been running a advancement edict in all of my provinces. I believe the correct answer is uh, you're welcome. My thank you. <laughs> hey, I think I had a I had a part to play in that as well. We're talking about the spread of Bengala, printing press. To give full credit to every single person who's vaguely involved. Uh, if Bengal hates you, so it wouldn't have spread from them. Huh? Technically. That's oh, I missed because, the... uh, You can definitely see it spreading off of their territory, though. Oh, I guess adjacent province, not nearby friendly, yeah. Yes. Forgot that uh, some of them spread from adjacent. I thought we missed the whole global trade thing. Um, no, did I fired. pop up? Yeah, that, okay. that, that's that's what made me start talking about this. Okay, sorry, sorry, I was I was distracted. Was, uh... yeah, my spreads are quite quick. Already 2% in a 2, two uh, yeah. type 2 province. It's not too bad. Yeah, that's why I mentioned get your uh, centers of trade built up because mm -hmm. of spread reason I a reasonable amount in those. I like how some of my places are getting global trade before printing press.
However, that does also mean that uh, in 10 years, the age of absolutism is going to start. So if you have the ability to uh, trigger a golden era that you want to use soon, uh, there you I go. I feel like I want to get my golden era up, like in the 1700s. By the way, I nearly forgot. Thank you. I guess. I just like how it looks. I was going to say it follows the Oirat cultural border, but I mean, you've got a couple of Oirats in your land already, and Asian and stuff like that. Feels so wholesome. I feel like the generic China tree, there should at least be a generic Chinese dynasty tree. Rather than literally being stuck with default ideas. Yeah. Alas. Right, time for the second. Yeah, second and Chiran War is coming in a moment. Let's go. Oh, I think it's time for a little war against the Manchapahits. Alright, my mandate's high enough. Bye, mandate. Bye-bye. Passed a reform which lowers the mandate by 50. So now I make 22% less goods and take 22% more damage. Ouch. Someone think of the economy. <laughs> Oh, right. Uh, Daft, I was going to tell you about giving people to pay tribute to you. Oh, yeah. Um, so, um, go to your subject tab, you know, next to your states so oh, you've got the subjects. Right, okay. And I then click on that. interactions. And with every state that is your tributary, you can click on interaction, and then there will be a bunch of little circular uh, things that pop up. And you can say mm. what you want from them, like, do you want ducats? Do you want nothing? Do you want admin, diplo, military? Or do you want manpower? And you can ask for any one of those things. You can hover over it to see how much they'll give you. Nice, yeah. Thank you. Oh, well, that's actually pretty awesome because I can get. Oh wait, no. I was looking at like military power, but it's not per month. It's per, per year, year, which per is year, yes. yeah. Which is oh, still good. Least, it's something at least, I guess. Yeah. Well, if you want to divide it by year, like Afghanistan gives me a tribute of six a year. So that's like half a tribute a month, which is pretty mm -hmm. good. I like it.
for the moment. I will ask for ducats from all of them because I just need to get a big pile of money so that I can embrace the institution. And that's worth more than any amount of monarch points at the moment. You got them, idiot fleet. That's my name. Don't wear it out. Okay, my army is so big it's taking oh God, What are you doing? <laughs> okay, lost my foot. Okay. <laughs> Just lost some traders. But like, they, they kept autoing out into a, into a fleet. I don't quite know what was happening. But, uh, Oh great, I just got iron ore problems. It's great timing. Just started the war. this oh nice it just got convert cashmere i just got a bunch of claims on things that i already own mm. uh that's good i mean a little silly grows larger. Golia discovers its spy network. Those crafty Mongolian spies. Very crafty. Why? Why are you not? Oh, I can't. Can I do anything here? It's very strange. I can't, it's just locked for some reason, okay.
Yay, stack wipe. Oh, we are the enemy. I mean, of, of the enemy, yes. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, thank goodness. <laughs> that was almost a disaster. I've still got 100k manpower in reserve. How's that? Also, take that, Dutch. Three, four, six air. Heck yeah. Thanks. I think Russia is. No, not yet, but next province. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Italian perfume, gross. It no, could German could perfume. This, um, this sure. To me, we will base the great China's fleet. Mohai's army is somewhere and I can't really figure out where. Oh, great tsunami, devastation everywhere. Okay, thanks for that. Got that. What's your army? I'd say Malacca is being a very helpful ally in this war. Excellent. Yeah, it's nice to see the AI actually helping. Helpful AI? Impossible. <laughs> Impossible. Not the army, okay. That would be interesting if uh, Bajran or Theravada states got stats for how many people got horrible reincarnations because they died with severely negative karma. <laughs> <laughs> the vast majority of your leaders reincarnated as some form of insect, or maybe even a rock or something. It'd suck reincarnating as a rock because you would vastly outlive humanity and then you'd reincarnate into something that wasn't a human afterwards. <laughs> but you never thought of it that way before. 
He's over from Majapahit. Heat. They're going to give me Bali, oh, nice. Cirebon. Cinnabon. Um, no. I, I think I can do better than this, to be honest. I'm close to 99 or even 100%. So. Yeah, they'll always lowball you. It's practically a lot of nature. They'll also only... They'll always only give you stuff.